hello everyone in this video i will be explaining you how we can look to open workbook and its worksheets for that i have created two workbooks whose name are opening macro and trial and trial i have created three worksheets whose name are monday tuesday and wednesday and in opening macro workbook i have created three sheets whose name are sheet one sheet two and sheet three now before i explain you what i have written in the code i will execute the code and will show you what is the objective of this video so the objective is i want a message box that will display me the name of the workbook and the name of all the worksheets that are there in that particular workbook so let me run this code line by line and explain you what is there in the code. So first I am defining the variable. And before I go ahead, I want to highlight one important thing. There is a difference between workbook and the workbooks. The difference is workbooks is plural so it corresponds to all the workbook that are open and workbook is singular so it corresponds to only one particular workbook that is open and there is a difference in the properties and the functions for workbooks and the workbook so let me take you to object browser and in this object browser let me show you what i am telling so workbooks is having this properties and the functions and the workbook is having vast variety of properties and the functions so we have to define the sheet and the workbook by keeping this thing in the mind so what we want to use and whose property we want to use we have to keep that thing in mind and then we have to define so let me take you to other part of the code so i am opening the for loop and this for loop is used for looping through the open workbook and then i am using the second for loop And this for loop will loop through each sheet of the particular workbook and it will take the name of that sheet and store it in the text. So next sheet and now the next workbook. Here, VB new line is used to move the cursor to new line in text variable. And a for loop for workbook is complete. Now, it will show me the text as a message box. And this was the objective of this video. So, in this video, we understood how we can loop through workbook and worksheets. Thank you.